Good evening and welcome to a very special campaign season edition of Meet the Pets. I'm Greg Davidson and joining me tonight are some of the leading candidates from both the cat and dog parties. On my left, Representative Will Barkalot, Chairman of the Household Digging Committee. To his left, Senator Max Sniffbottom, Chairman of the Joint Commission on Chew Toys. And Senator Taylor Wagley, the leader of the back. To my right, Senator Kitty Clausmore, Chair of the Select Committee on Tail Chasing. And Representative Wanda Scratch, just back from her Around the Neighborhood tour of garbage cans. And to my far left, Representative Melvin Fleabit. Let's begin with you, Senator Sniffbottom. Given the challenges facing our country these days, what do you think people are looking for from their pets? Well, Greg, I think they're looking for a pet who demonstrates loyalty, camaraderie, and a certain uh, joy de vivre. That's joie de vivre. Hey, does he look like a French poodle? <laughs> people want a pet who can provide border security, uh, protect us against dangerous outside elements, UPS delivery men, door-to-door -door evangelists, uh, Girl Scouts selling cookies. Cookies? Cookies? cookies. cookies. The people want a pet that carries on the spirit of the greatest American canine pet of all time, Rin Tin Tin. <laughs> Senator Clausmore, do you care to respond? Let's look at the record, shall we? History shows that during every dog administration, there has been a marked rise in pillow chewing and a dramatic increase in the fur level on the furniture. Hey, let she who is without fur scratch the first itch. <laughs> then there's the hole they've created. What hole? At this very moment, as we speak, there is an enormous hole in the backyard. Hey, that hole was started by a previous dog. <laughs> Yes, and it has gotten only deeper under this canine administration. And why isn't something being done about the hole? Because the dogs are too busy enjoying the perks of office. What perks? Riding all over town in minivan one. Overnight stays in exclusive kennels. Yeah, well, we have to stay here and fend for ourselves. Those trips are necessary to, uh, gather information about the neighborhood. Oh, yeah? Why do you think they call them boondoggles? <laughs> now, in contrast, what happens when cats are in charge of the house? A marked decrease in mice. Peace and quiet return to the yard as those annoying songbirds start to stay away. <laughs> and let's not forget that the polls say cats are easier to take care of than dogs. True, but the polls also say people overwhelmingly prefer dogs to cats. I don't believe in polls. <laughs> all right, a question for all the candidates. Is there any room in the house for a viable third-party pet? What, like a hamster? Yeah, like that's going to happen. <laughs> well, perhaps a fish. Fish? Hey, we love fish, especially the little ones in the bowl with the... <laughs> Let's talk about campaign financing. Senator Sniffbottom, isn't it true that you have received significant funding from a special interest group known as Lassie's List? Well, I... Uh... Not to mention the powerful Westminster Super PAC. Oh, yeah, yeah. And of course, both the dog and cat parties have received donations from major corporations, such as Purina and Ukanuba. Wow. <laughs> And then there's the gender gap. Now, Senator Claus Moore, it's been said that if cats hope to regain control of the house, they're going to have to find a way to appeal to the adult male demographic. Look, we cats have always been sensitive to the issues that are important to men. Being fed on time, being left alone unless we want attention. <laughs> Representative Fleabit, you've been fairly quiet. What do you have to say? Well, well, well I, I think people are, are tired of all the hissing and bark barking, especially at night. Uh, I think dogs and cats ought to, to, to work together on the pressing issues of our time, such as having an open door policy, more treats. He's got a point there. But I think it's time to, to reach across the species lines and, and build bridges to those with whom we share the water bowl. 
Does that mean you'll stop chasing us up trees? Uh, 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 I think we could examine our tree chasing policy with an eye to uh, some kind of uh, accommodation. What? You call yourself a dog? He's a dino, dog in name only. <laughs> Might as well be a cat. Hey, let me ask you something. At the end of the day, who do people want to curl up with? An 80-pound doorstop that smells like a wet shag rug? Or a small, clean, furry friend who will gently purr you to sleep? And wake you up about ten minutes later, shaking the whole bed while she cleans herself? Hey, at least we do clean ourselves. With all due respect, you smell like a garbage can. Yeah? Well, with all due respect, at least I don't walk in my toilet. Hey! Hey, watch it, furball! You watch it, trash breath! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in here? Uh, another thoughtful, yeah. intelligent conversation. Join us next time on Meet the Best!